Hey YouTube, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Season five reloaded drops in depending on when you're watching this video, 24 to 30 hours from now, if you're watching this right when it launches, it's, a, it's about 27, 28 hours. I don't know, somewhere around there, but it's coming out tomorrow. And it is the final major content update for Modern Warfare Zombies. And that's that's incredibly sad to me is I absolutely love this game. My channel was built on this game and I'm really sad to see its main, main year of support come to an end. But it has been an incredibly fun year and I am looking forward to Black Ops 6. But I want to showcase in this one a little bit of my strategy on you know, how I find some scorchers and I want to talk a little bit about what I hope to see coming out of the update tomorrow. So let's go. Now, of course, we slapped that pack a punch machine so we could keep our hard earned camo. I've got the FGX Horus. I'll go ahead, throw the build up on screen for you. And of course, we got the molten obsidian camo on here. We are still working towards getting that next level mastery camo. Uh, unfortunately, it just takes so many XP in order to get there. So one strategy that I like to implement when I am just trying to get some scorchers is I will take some regular sigils and I will keep them in my rucksack and then I will make runs just like the one we're about to make where I bring in a whole bunch of perks. I got an epic tool. This I forgot that I brought the blood burner in. We, we could have done things a little bit quicker here with that. But I don't know if that guy's going to go for that. I think he's doing a triangle, so maybe we can do that cargo delivery. But basically, my goal here is to just get myself to pack a punch three as quickly as I possibly can. And then we are just really just going to go right straight into the season one Dark Ether with, you know, maybe an extra self revive or so. And just go in and our main focus is going to be just doing the locked rooms inside of there and trying to find some scorchers and i will do this multiple times in a row i will save up two or three regular sigils and then i'll just take an hour or so out of my day and i will make this run two or three times depending on how many of those sigils i have and hopefully get a few scorchers out of it so that's what we're going to do here but the biggest thing that i wanted to talk about is i wanted to talk about some things that I am hoping come out of the update tomorrow with the season five reloaded. Now you're not going to have any content for me. This is going to be the last video that you're going to have for me until next week. Um, I am away and I am on vacation and I thought about getting, you know, some videos ready to be posted all throughout this week. But I'm like, you know, if I, if everybody else is playing season five reloaded, but I pre-recorded a whole bunch of episodes before the update, you know, I fear that some of them may be like completely irrelevant. So I really didn't want to go down that path. So this will be the final video for me until I return from the vacation. And we are going to return with an epic live stream on Monday. I think that's the 26th of August will be when we return and that's how we're going to return with an epic live stream where I don't know I want to do something special we'll see um but we are going to be going through all of the new content and everything which you guys probably already had unlocked by that point but this will be that will be our first go through it so yeah that's when I will see you guys next so I apologize that you're going to go nearly a week without a cool whip video and I know I am as sad about that as you are, but some things that I hope to see out of tomorrow's update is definitely some updates to how these contracts are handled in tier three. I, I feel like this is definitely going to be the last major update that we see. I don't think we're going to see anything major else come to the game. We might get some quality of life updates with season six and maybe some more patch updates and things like that but oh look at that two self revives and an epic tool suite we need that epic tool because that will allow us to make this run again because i have another sigil in my rucksack so yeah but we need to we need to get some of these bug changes i really hope some changes are made to how everything is handled in tier three um, because that's going to really tell us, you know, what kind of longevity they think that this game might end up having. 
if they don't really make any changes to that, then I feel like they are probably okay with this game just dying off and that being the end of it, because I don't think we're going to see anything big change after tomorrow's update. I really think that that's, that's going to be the culmination and really tell us, you know, what they plan for this game for the next year. While it might still get some little small patches where they fix a, a few like game breaking bugs and things like that, it won't really receive any other support. Now, we already know that that's going to be the case. But if they get this game into a really good state, like a really good solid state before the launch of Black Ops 6, then you at least know that they intend this game to last another year for some players because they do. I, I know that they know. Oh, we don't have enough. Oh, we're just shy. We're just shy. I got to go get a little bit more essence. I wasn't paying attention to my essence. I thought we had enough. But they know that some players are not super thrilled with round based zombies making a return. And for that reason, I am hopeful that they're going to keep this game playable and through the next year. And now there has been rumors that Blackout is going to be coming to Black like a uh, not, like not a blackout. I don't know why I said blackout because I'm thinking black ops. <laughs> that there will be, there will be like an open an open world style mode similar to what they had back in Cold War with the outbreak mode, and that is rumored to be coming to Black Ops Six. It is not confirmed. Now that mode came back. No, that is my bike, you asshole. Oh yeah yeah. All right, so that guy stole my bike. So I guess we'll go up here and get this Jeep and we'll drive that away. And I would like to do one more contract, I think. And it might just have to be a tier two because there's nothing else here. And actually we have two extra self revives. So I, I think we will be good to go actually for this. But if we do one more contract, maybe get ourselves a couple of Casimirs just so we have a little bit of equipment that could help us out in the long run. I don't see any like really super quick contracts to do. There is, okay, so we're just gonna go, like whatever. There's, our main goal here is not really to complete contracts. I'll complete them if we can. Um, usually at least the Outlast I'm able to get completed. Um, it's a little bit harder to do the Ether Extractor if you don't have any equipment or anything on hand, but We'll see how this goes. Let's go ahead. I'll see you in there. Now, I am optimistic that some big changes can potentially come with tomorrow's update. Now, of course, they are not going to put all of these things into the patch notes. They generally don't for zombies. Any of some of the big things just don't tend to make it into the patch notes. A lot of the changes that they make to the game. So hopefully these things can happen. I mean, we really don't know. We're not going to know until tomorrow. It would be absolutely huge if they could indeed, you know, make some changes to how everything is handled in tiers three and make the contracts more accessible. Even if you don't change, even if you don't change the number of contracts, the spawn rate definitely needs to be adjusted quite a bit actually there is nothing in that one either so that is that's two locked rooms down here already with uh no wonder weapons in them so it's not looking too good for us here now i do have i do have death perception okay i thought maybe for a second that i didn't have death perception um, but we'll go and we'll check this one and looks like a small case in there so we're not going to want that and we got what two more rooms to check here so we'll drop down over the front over here right about here perfect there we go right on up to the top over here oh don't go down cool whip oh we got a long case in there and we'll get down here we'll get this key and let's get up here and do i have a decoy i hope i have it oh gosh oh gosh i'm stuck i'm stuck in my backpack i sometimes i just get stuck in that backpack we need to get that decoy out there right there and see if we can get up here and get this real quick. Give me a scorcher, baby. There we go. Let, oh, no, 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 no. Don't get trapped by the mimic. Don't get trapped by the mimic. Cool whip. Go, 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 go. All right. I think we still have two self revives left. 
Um, yes, we still have one in the backpack. I'm going the wrong way, Cole Whip, buddy. Go, 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 go. There we go. Okay, one more locked room to check right down here. Like I said, this is the focus. This is this is what I'll do to try to get some Scorchers and nothing in that one. Now, I will attempt the Outlast contract here. And as long as we don't go down um, more than one time here, then we we will stay and we'll do it. Um, I just want I just always want to make sure I have a self revive. I don't want to get caught because we don't have tombstone. We don't have anything like that. So we'll, uh, oh my gosh, let's get that decoy out there and get some of these guys off of us. Now we do have our energy mine. I'm going to wait here just a couple of moments to use it as they start coming back up here. There we go. Don't go down. Oh, come on. Why could that not go off any faster than that? All right. All right. Here we go. Things are a little little touchy now. And come on, FJX. Get rid of that mimic. Perfect. And now we're dead. We're dead. We are so dead. Yeah, we are so dead. All right. We're just going to get on, get on out of here with this run. We're going to call it quits here. Well, if we can find a way to the top here would be would be nice. And okay, we're double trapped with mimics. Oh my gosh. All right, we just, we need to find a way to the top of the roof. This is getting way too intense. This is way more intense than it typically is when I'm doing this. Oh my gosh, they're just biting me everywhere. Cole get out of here. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's incredible. Okay, let's hop into the second run. Okay, hopefully this run is not quite as intense as that one. Now I didn't, uh, I just brought in the rest of the perks that we didn't bring in in the last one. And I'll remember to use this blood burner right off the rip here. So we're going to have to get a couple of self revives. So let's head over here. Actually, let's go to this bounty right over here in tier one. And that will get us a quick self revive. All right, so I do want to hear from you down in the comments. Let me know, simply for the sake of engagement, do you think any major gameplay changes are going to come in tomorrow's update? Personally, I just don't think that it that there will be. There has been plenty of time for them to make the necessary gameplay adjustments to extend the longevity of this game, and they, they just don't seem to be interested in that. So I don't think that there's going to be anything that, that comes of this tomorrow, but... You know, if you do, by all means, let me know. Oh, death perception. That's perfect because we were going to have to purchase that so we could see through the walls in the dark ether. So that is a super lucky drop for us. So actually, we have enough now. We can go buy another self revive, which we can get from this buy station right here in tier two. All right, let's go ahead and purchase a another self revive. That's awesome. Now, what do we need here? We need at least some speed cola. And we're going to have enough for two perks. So we're going to head on into tier three, find a wonder fizz machine, which we'll just do that one right there. And we got enough essence for two perks, probably speed cola in juggernaug, maybe speed cola in stamina up. Um, either way, we got enough for two and then we'll head back into the dark ether again. Now I did race a flawless crystal on this run. I get it, and it's only because I wanted to make this video as quick as possible. Usually, I would just use a Pack-A-Punch 2 crystal and just do a couple of contracts and get the money to upgrade it and then go in, but I kind of wanted to get this video done as quickly as possible for you guys, so I just grabbed that flawless crystal, and it's not really a big deal. I don't care too much about the crystals because I can upgrade, but why do I get stuck in menus sometimes? Okay, we got to run. Decoy out. All right, let's grab these real quick. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, no, not the mimic. Not the mimic. Anything but the mimic. All right, here we go. Let's get out of here. All right, back to the dark ether again. Let's see if we can find... Our... You're, you're kidding me, right? Nobody's done this? Well, that means we're going to have to do it since nobody did that triangle because yeah, why not? So not only will this get us a legendary tool and a flawless crystal, it'll give us enough essence to buy ourselves another perk before we go, which some dead shot I think would come in really handy. 
considering we are just epic rarity on this FJX. So let's go ahead and finish off these zombies. All right, and we got that one done. And give me my rewards, please. Thank you. All right, let's head back over to... There's nobody in tier three. Does that mean we can do more triangles? Indeed, it does. All right, well, let's do a second triangle. And honestly, I will do the third if nobody else comes into the tier three zone because... Yeah, we could really use this loot right now. All right, that is two of the triangles done. And let's get this one fired up. And I, yeah, I really don't condone doing this, but there's there's nobody else in this tier three zone. So that, that just tells me I got incredibly lucky one time and I'm going to take advantage of it because I could really use, I mean, we're over 10 minutes into this match and nobody's hit these triangles. And I could really use this loot for when we come back and we get back in season five reloaded and we'll have some stuff in our stash and that will be that will be awesome as long as i don't waste them on the live stream that i'm hoping to have a live stream before i actually leave on vacation so as long as i don't waste all of this loot on that live stream then we'll have plenty of loot when we return and we start our season five reloaded journey just a little bit later than the rest of you all because I did not plan my vacations very well. All right, there we go, sweet. And we have 13,000 essence. We can head, oh, there's one person down there now. So we can head back to the Wonder Fizz and we'll go to this one right over here. We'll get the rest of our perks. Well, we only had two of those. So now if we could find a buy station, we'll just go to this one right out here in tier two. And we'll grab a couple of, oh, we'll grab one extra self-revive. That's all we have room for. Holy hellhounds. All right, I'm going to go ahead and purchase a sentry gun as well. That should do it. Let's head on into the dark ether. We might actually be able to complete at least the outlast contract this time around. And there is still nobody in this tier three zone. So I do not feel guilty at all for taking all three of those triangles this time i have never done that um nor probably will i ever again because i've never been in a match where there's never been anybody in the tier three zone like this like it's almost completely empty looks like somebody might have just teleported out here into tier three they're up on top of they're up on top of that tower out there at the end but we are going to go ahead and we're going to head on in and let's see if we can maybe get some lucky a little bit more lucky. Actually, I don't know where we would store the Scorchers if we find them because, um, yeah, look at our rucksack. <laughs> we'll have to, have to replace self revives with them, but let's go. All right. So we are fully perked up, which is awesome. So we'll head out. We'll go off this way and we will pretty much do things in the same order that we did the last time when we come in here. So we'll go check these couple of rooms right over there. And that's where we're start, man. I feel like I am getting, when I'm going up ladders and going up repels, I, I feel like I'm getting bit by things when I'm well up these things, like when I'm not even close to the bottom anymore. And then I feel like I am nothing in that one. And I feel like I'm getting I'm getting bit by them. I'm halfway up them, and I got dogs biting me. Oh no! There's a mimic. There's a mimic, and that looks like a small case in there. So we're not gonna go for that one. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go for it because I I don't want to say 100% that that's a small case because I never look at it from this angle. Plus, this one comes with a nuke, so not really a big deal. That as long as we get back there without dying and open up the door, we get a nuke to go with it. Oh my gosh. Please don't spitball me now. That would be a disaster. All right, let's see if we can get climbing up here. Go, 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 go. Go, Cole Whip. Let's go, buddy. All right, that is indeed a small case, but we got the nuke. It's a ray gun. We're going to leave it. I'm not going to waste any space with a ray gun right now. But we can go ahead and head off to the top up here. Oh, ouch with the spitball. My golly. 
Those mimics are, uh, they're very aggressive. All right, nothing in that room there. So let's head off to the top up here. And we got nothing in that room either. One more locked room to check. And then we're going to attempt the out. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm stuck with my fists out. Oh, cool whip, buddy. All right, get. Wait, what do I. What am I stimming? What is happening? Oh no. Oh no. We are broken. Something is broken. No. This is not good. This is not good at all. We're going to have to go down, I think. And hopefully this doesn't happen again. Okay. It didn't happen again. But we are on our last self-revive. So maybe we don't end up doing that contract now. Because I don't want to risk losing anything. I mean, we could die once we do have tombstone so you know what let's let's do it we have tombstone we have tombstone two casimirs we got a sentry gun that will help out and i think i think we can do it i think we can do it let's throw that there in case somebody comes from behind energy mine down sentry gun out maybe nope 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 okay I, I, nothing, I don't know why nothing is going right here, but we're, we're out of here. That's the end of it. We don't have any more self revives. So we are headed to the exfil. Um, yeah, so I guess this didn't really work out all that well for us, but hey, I will see you guys on the flip side in season five reloaded. And I really hope some big changes come. And I, I don't know if this strategy will, will help you all at all like to, to get some scorchers or something i mean i did not display this very well um but it can be a very effective way to do it in very quick runs doesn't take a whole lot of time but my name's cole whip and i'm out